St. Vincent de Paul Family Success Center has been providing educational and social development opportunities for at-risk children right here in Louisville, but now they're offering uh, really important after-school programming for children in the neighborhood. And with us today to talk a little bit more about how they're helping kids and how you can get involved at home too if you want to help out, I have Jennifer Clark, the Chief Operating Officer, St. Vincent de Paul, and Julio Anthony, the Program Manager. Guys, thanks for being here today. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. School's back in session, right? And, and I mean, mm -hmm. this kind of a program is probably more important than ever. I mean, talk about kind of where it is today. Yeah, so St. Vincent de Paul, we house, feed, and support people in need, but we know housing can be really complicated, and so we like we provide wraparound services, and one of those is the Family Success Center and our after-school program, which is managed by Julio. Thank you for having us. Oh, Julio, yeah. thank yes. you so much. I mean, are, are you seeing already a, a large number of kids that are coming through? And, and what can we do here within the community to help you all? Because you have to have resources, right. you know, to provide these kids with great, great services and educational help. Um, kind of where are you guys right now with how many kids you have? So at the moment, we have a lot of interest. Um, a lot of families are trying to figure out bus schedules and making sure that everything is, you know, operating right for them so that their child can attend. Um, we are in partnership with JCPS and a, a few of the uh, family resource centers in our cluster, uh, one being Englehart. Um, and what, of course, what can help us at the moment is uh, donations for programming. We like to bring in STEM and STEAM education for mm -hmm. our kids because there are a lot of hands-on and you know that you know want to you know just be in detail with a lot of things. So, yeah. Is the after school program mainly hubbed right now at Englehart Elementary? No, ma'am. It's at uh, the same as the Paul uh, location at 1029 South Preston Street. All right. And that's Monday through Thursday, 3.30 to 7. Why is this kind of programming so vital um, um, for these kids? It's very vital. Um, uh, during the pandemic, we did have like NTI programming, so we were able to bring some kids in and make sure that they, you know, get back on track with their um, education and, and not fall by the wayside. And as Always, we have our summer program that we have. Um, this is our ninth year, so um, yeah, we are very excited and we're open to the community and we look forward to bringing in new uh, participants. So what is an afternoon like at the after school program for kids right now? It's, it's never the same day, uh, bet. never the same day. <laughs> they love being there and um, we love having them most definitely. Um, when they come in, they, they get there around 3.45. Uh, they have their free time up until 4.30. They have a, a, a hot meal from Dare to Care. At 5 o'clock, they go into their educational hour, and then mm -hmm. from 6 to 7 is their programming hour. Mm -hmm. yes, and, and Jennifer, I mean, Julio talked about having the need for some resources and some programs. I mean, how can people reach out and help you all? Absolutely. So people can visit our website. We are accepting volunteers and just $1,500 in, in donations will help us bring in one of our partners. We've partnered with Lego Robotics for that STEM programming. And that provides about 30 kids with that um, with that really important programming to help give them a leg up in their yeah. education and enrich what they're already getting through school. So we appreciate all the support. We couldn't do what we do without our partners like Dare to Care, the Crusade for Children, and Metro United Way. Um, and then, of course, all of the donors out there that support us. We really appreciate it. And um, Give for Good's coming up. And that's so that's right. going to be that's a great opportunity. Week, right? It yeah, is. That's and a we wonderful. will be focusing that campaign on the Family Success Center. So we're really looking forward to all of our supporters coming in for us and making that happen. And you know, I think you brought up a really important point. You know, if you yeah. can't donate with money, donate with, with help, oh, right? Absolutely. Like so many of these schools these days, they have like need for volunteer hours or community mm -hmm. service. Yeah. This is a great way to be involved in your community. Yeah, and we have a lot of uh, volunteers from schools that come in with their parents and and work with the kids and help with tutoring and we really appreciate all of that support. Well, Jennifer and Julio, thank you so much this morning for thank taking you. the time. Send our best to Dave too. Yes, ma'am. We'll of all we'll the great do. work you guys are doing there. Thank you. So to learn a little bit more and get involved or donate, you can head on over to svdplu.org.